Nabestaanden uit het Verenigd Koninkrijk en Canada waren naar de militaire begraafplaats in Nijmegen gekomen om hun laatste eer te bewijzen. 79 jaar na de crash krijgen de zeven bemanningsleden hun laatste rustplaats. Today we remember with thanksgiving these brave men whom alongside so many others answered the call of their country, served with honor and gave their lives in the service of their nations. Hoewel er vijf Britten en twee Canadezen aan boord waren, is er bij de begrafenis maar één kist. We were unable to individually identify the crew members. Uh, it's a very sad fact that when a plane crashes, um, remains can be scattered far and wide. So we know that this was the plane because of the artifacts found, but we believe it was right that they flew together, they died together and they're all buried in one coffin together. Earth to earth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. De uitvaart maakt grote indruk op de nabestaanden. De afgelopen twee jaar sinds het begin van de berging is er voor hen veel gebeurd. Just they were unfortunate. A lot of them came home and the crew of 716 were just unlucky in the wrong place at the wrong time. The funeral means everything to us. It's had a huge impact on our family. And now, knowing our uncle is finally laid to rest is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it means a great deal to our whole family, just knowing that Harry and his comrades have been found and have a place to rest. My mother has closure, and that's the most important thing, because for 75 years, she had no idea what happened to him. Na de ceremonie legden de nabestaanden bloemen bij het graf. Ook de provincie Flevoland en de gemeente Almere legden een krans.